All right, so this is an introduction to John R's workshop. And of course it starts with uh, the motocross numbers on the top. You're saying that was uh, from the bikes you worked yeah, on? Yeah, yeah. It started out over here. Oh, uh, yeah. Number one. Is that the, the first, first Honda bike? Is that what that means? Yeah, the first, the first, my year was a mechanic and won the championship, so. All right, nice. Cool. But then you went from one to what, 552? Yeah, 522, yeah. Oh, oh, 522. That was, that was, uh, yeah, that was a, then it was, it turned into number one though after being, oh. it started 522 and became number one. After yeah. Number one. All right. And here's a thermometer that uh, Rose and Steels might recognize. Yeah. Very nice. Still working it looks like. So it's about oh, yeah. 90 degrees in here. Yeah. And we have some kind of normal tool work going on over here for normal tool things. And then we have the sapphire, what did you call this? Precision? It's a fire. Precision balance. Precision balance for weighing the valuable materials that we a, get. With, with a sapphire bearing, a sapphire bearing. Yeah. A sapphire bearing, very nice. Right, but that's just the beginning of the lab. And then we turn over here and we have John R. Very nice. Hi. <laughs> right. uh, and then we start to get a little crazy over here. Some, some picture of Joe and, the, Joe and my oh. dad. That's right. Oh, how old is this tool chest? That might be classic. Yeah, that's pretty old too. That's, that's from... Uh, <laughs> I have that. I don't remember if I had that when I moved out here or... Okay. Well, you got that Elsinore. I have no idea. Elsinore mark on there and everything. And up here we have some pictures of the fam. Yeah. Very nice. Joe and Joe. Joe and Joe. Uh, and then we start to get into a little bit crazier material. So, John, you were saying a lot of this stuff is kind of from the 80s even? Some of these yeah, units of and it, stuff? Yeah, most of it from the 80s. From the 80s, and you got it on eBay? Yeah. It's, it's still, it's, just, it's not real tiny components, you can still fix it. You, yeah, still usable. What's this thing? Uh, that's just a, that's just an extension. This, this is the, the vacuum pump. That's the vacuum. It's a, it's a turbo, monec turbo molecular vacuum pump. Ah. It's got like a jet engine, it's got a bunch of blades that spin it real fast. Oh my gosh. So we got some lead screens over here to protect whatever goes on. And that's a fuser. In the fuser, that's the fuser. <laughs> it creates neutrons. Creating neutrons. For more experiments. Nice. And the machines that do that stuff. <laughs> so untechnical. <laughs> um, what was this thing? Oh, that's, I uh, use that to, uh, Drive. Well, when you work on the vacuum stuff, you, after you turn it off, you, you don't want to let the atmosphere into it. It's got moisture. Okay. So you, you hook, hook this and let in, uh, let in argon or nitrogen when this drive is that molecular service in here. Right, and right. Dry, and it dries it. Right, good. Because even uh, like if they bottle the gas, the gas from the bottle like that has got some small percent of moisture. All oh, right. So this is for drying things out professionally. Molecular seal. Ah, uh, yeah. Got the machine shop going on in back. Lathe and what was this one again? Sorry. A vertical mill. A vertical mill. Very nice. All the parts you need for those. Nice. All right, I think I'm going to run out of memory pretty soon. Oh. <laughs> right. Is this where a lot of the work ends up getting done? Is this the computer? Yeah. Yeah. Another computer. Another computer there to download the data from that. Uh, oh, so you need the two computers. Yeah, because that one, the software only runs on. 32-bit windows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and I the, had to get 32-bit windows. These are some actual radioactive materials that yeah. John just has lying around. Uh, oh, can I see the trinium again? The what? Oh, the trinitite? Trinitite, sorry. Oh, yeah. Um, and this, this little guy, this piece, off. is actually from the first blast sites in Arizona. New Mexico. Uh, New Mexico. In New Mexico. White Sands Missile Range. And John's saying it's red because it contains bits of the copper pipes that were helping uh, measure things from that original testing. Yeah, and we get a Geiger counter over here. Uh, yeah. Kind of starts out. Yeah, about 40 or starts out about 40. We put the Geiger counter over the. Oh my gosh. Should go higher than that, right? Yeah, that's it. Let me turn it over. Oh. There's a top side, so. So, yeah, that's a pretty radioactive material. 
Oh my gosh, it's so I should, cool. I should show you that rock from the garage from the shed. <laughs> the rock from the front of All right, so that's a mini mini tour. Oh, and what describe this guy again for dad? Let's say this is a well, this is a lead shield. That Oops, they do low level measurements, black blocks out the background radiation, right? And the detector is we get measures. Detects photons. It's a photon detector. It's a photon or, or detector. Camera, you know, photon light, yeah. Right? Camera rays. Right, right. Oh boy. And I'm running out of memory. Yeah. So we're going to say goodbye. That was John R. That was John R.'s lab. That was so cool.